Greetings from Mob World. Hello, y'all. I'm back with another reaction. Uh, as y'all can see on my banner, I changed my name. I changed my banner. I'm gonna be changing my uh profile name in about three days to Mob World. Uh, still doing horror reactions, but I'm gonna do a little bit of everything now. So, say cheese, uh, horror, just a whole bunch of other shit. I'm trying to. Trying to react to everything, not just horror, but the horror gonna be heavily on this content too, on this channel too. But anyway, we got Sandman Kivo on Davina standing on King Von's grave. They're going to find her. She needs to leave. Damn. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. Chicago female rapper. Her name is Avina. Um, she released a photo four days ago standing on top of King Von's grave. Um, and what's so crazy is eight years ago when I was in Chicago, I did one of her freestyles on the porch. Like aspiring rapper. She was so sweet. Now, if you kind of look at her like on the internet, it's not the same girl. It's like the streets turned her all the way out. Yeah. So but yeah, but 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 yeah, but hold on. Released a video standing on King Von's grave. This is worse than FBG Cash standing in front of the mural. This is like, why would you do that? That's super disrespectful. I ain't gonna I mean, lie. The only thing I can say is, you you know what's about to happen, shit. I don't even want to say. You know, That's a whole I mean, threat. You know, <laughs> you know how that go, bro. When you want to get that type of, uh, when you want to get that type of uh, attention, see, it's energies out here, you know, spirits and stuff like that is real. Yeah. So whatever you want to attract, you gonna attract it. You know what I mean? And we gonna be doing another interview, and you gonna be talking about something. <laughs> but like, it. Was, I mean, I guess I can understand why she did it because I don't know. Maybe she was a op, and she ain't like Vaughn. Von, Vaughn Von killed a lot of her people, but at the end of the day, her people killed. A lot of Vine people, so I mean, it is what it is, bro. But as far as like the stand on the grave, yeah, that's super disrespectful. But like, I'm not the biggest King Vaughn King Vaughn fan. Uh, I don't just I, King Vaughn was a terrible terrible person to me. To be honest, I don't fuck with King Vaughn. I mean, I listen to his music, but that's just his music. I don't fuck with him as a person. But I mean, at the end of the day, that is kind of super disrespectful. You stand on the nigga grave and shit, so. Better watch out. Them BD niggas coming after you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's the energy of what you attract. And but then again, they might not, because they ain't done nothing to Lil Tim and all the mother niggas. So then again, who knows? Do you think that the people who love that man is going to? Because like you can't sit in the house forever, and you can't if you in Chicago. It's like people gonna be on that, and then it's gonna be now you got these people. That know these people and they want to get closer to y'all and they're like, man, I know where this, I know where she is, I know this and I know that and man, she be right here and she, be... that's too much. Now you sitting there, what you doing? Like that's too much, bro. You in Chicago, them niggas be doing that shit for fun, man. Them niggas ride off six niggas with thirties and switches and, you know what I'm saying, bro? So it's like they got they that's their jobs. That's what they go do for work type shit. So it's like, oh, you know what, shorty stood that on on, on full. I bet, I right. like you know. So you gonna get you gonna get what you did. You, you did it for a reason, right? Mm. You did it for a reason to get to wake up those people. So <sighs> she just she should just move away. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, she might. She probably don't even stay in Chicago. To be honest, she can't. Ain't no way you stand in Chicago. You doing that? Unless you. But let me tell you something. If they gonna try and get her just for standing on that nigga grave, then they they gotta go get uh they gotta go get young boy, Lil Tim, and Quando. Cause they've been disrespecting Vaughn ever since the nigga died. Especially Quando. So you mean to tell me, cause I don't know, this is my opinion. I don't give a fuck about nobody else's opinion. You mean to tell me them niggas gonna slide on her and kill her just because she stood on on that nigga grave? But you got other niggas? Talking shit, clowning y'all niggas, clowning Chicago, and y'all ain't said not a fucking word. 
But y'all want to kill her because she stood on your nigga grave. Fuck out of here, dog. Like, y'all got to go get Charleston then. Y'all got to go get Lil' Tim, young boy. Quando. Y'all got to go get them niggas first. But she want to slide on. Man, all this bullshit, bro. But I'm, I'm all for black unity. I'm, a, I'm against all this shit. One of that type shit, like, you know, like staying in Chicago when you did that. That was bad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Big Scar recently passed away. Allegedly overdosed. Um, you know, they say over 300 million pills of fentanyl were, were, were found in, in 2022, enough to kill everybody. Everybody, the whole country. That's what the D, that's what the DEA, that's what they that's that's what the report was. Um, but Big Scar passed away. And he overdosed. I don't know if it was from fentanyl, but you know, a lot of people that were around him, I know, said he crazy drug problem. Um, and uh, the pill, the pill thing right fault. now was taking over the world. It is. Um. Well, me personally, I haven't ever did drugs before, bro. So I don't really know me exactly either. how that how like eat alcohol. I don't know how I feel to be drunk. All I, I do is smoke I weed. Be, um, off of a drug or anything like that. But um, I just feel like this. We have enough habits in the world alone with what we do, what, what we eat, you know, females, you know, all types of stuff we got. I don't feel like, I feel like once you make it to success, don't let somebody trick you into uh, doing all these crazy ass drugs once you make it into success so that mm. they can be around you to sell you the drugs so they can capitalize off of all your checks you bringing in because they know you this big rapper. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know what this nigga Big Scar was going through. I don't know if he was depressed. I don't know, but all those fitting all pills he was taking, the nigga was gonna die either fucking way. Nigga overdose on shit. When I'm, I'm pretty sure when he took those hoes before, he was not checking the percentage, just down to them hoes, and that time he got the best of literally. So, I mean. I don't know. I don't know the nigga. I don't know. I barely listen to his music. I don't fucking know if he had a drug problem. But like, hey, at the end of the day, bro, it is what it is, dog. He a grown ass man. He made his own decision. If that man wanted to do that, then he wanted to do that, bro. It is what it is, bro. Like I said, I only smoke weed. I don't do none of that crazy ass heroin, meth, fucking LSD pills, all that crazy shit. I might do an edible here and there, but like just straight weed, bro. Nothing else. Like all the other shit is like OD as fuck. It's weird as hell. But like people, people respond to to what feels good. People like to feel good, bro. They don't want to like deal with their own problems head on. They want to fucking distract the shit. They want to be distracted from the reality of the world, from their own problems. And drugs is the way to go because it makes you feel numb. It makes you feel good. Especially in the black community, dog. We respond to what feels good, not to what feels right. <laughs> Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You notice that the peer pressure come a little bit stronger when you start getting successful because if I can get you on lean, or if I can get you on these pills and I'm your drug dealer, lean is crazy. I'm damn near running it up off your ass. Lean is yeah. killing you, you slowly. So niggas gotta pay attention to every motive of people that's around. Kidney failure, that's all that shit. Tidy, these bitches make man, I'm telling you, and da 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 And you know what I'm saying? Just what are we sitting around doing drugs for, nigga? We got songs to make. We got, we trying to make it big. We trying to be the, I'm signing Gucci, but I'm trying to be bigger and better than Gucci. Mm. But what Gucci ain't doing? He ain't sitting up doing no damn pills. A lot of niggas ain't got exactly. that mindset, so, though. A lot of people were, a lot of people were trying to blame Gucci, and I don't feel like nah, that's fair. Nah, hell no. Nah. They, he they don't even blame, do drugs. They gonna blame, they gonna blame everybody for everything, bro. That's just our world. But at the end of the day, bro, uh, you just gotta know how to know how to like move out. Like I said, we not getting successful to work backwards. We not getting successful to start doing lean. Move forward. You ain't did lean and then you start doing lean, or or we don't turn up more on drugs. You made you bless. It's like niggas don't understand the blessings. Start. What this nigga said, bro. Like niggas who get in the industry, making all this music, making all this money, bro, getting all this status and power, this fame and shit. What is you doing taking all these heavy ass drugs, bro? For what? You getting lean the fuck out and shit. You drinking all this fucking lean, just destroying your kidneys every fucking day. 
getting weaker and weaker, fatter and fatter. A lot of niggas don't take care of themselves when they in the industry. They don't take care of their mental and physical health, bro. They just they let anybody just bring them on to whatever, dog. Hey, you want to take this? You want to take that? Yeah, I do it. For what, nigga? The fuck is we taking all these crazy ass drugs for? Nigga, push forward, nigga. You working hard to push forward. We're not working hard to be backwards. The fuck? Some niggas who get in the industry, they they, they not they never took a drug in their fucking life. Two, three years later, they hung out. They strung out on every fucking drug in the world. Lean, all that shit, bro. Pills, all that shit. They look totally different from when they got in the motherfucking industry, dog. And all these industry niggas to hey, take this, take that, take that. Managers, take it. Like, bro, for what, nigga? Like, that shit, that shit is dumb as fuck. Anyway, when you get blessed, it start going harder, harder, harder. If I know... I'm in this position. Okay, cool. My job is. And I don't consider weed a drug. Big like Gucci. Cause that shit naturally you know grow I mean? from the ground. I was pissed off when I seen that. I'm like, damn, bro, it's coming up. That's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, rappers dying and shit, just dying, going to jail. Shit, every or, month. Damn know, near. Something, something always happening every day. Shit. Every month, damn near, bro. Every month, a rapper dying. Damn near. Lost takeoff two months ago. Shit, crazy, bro. But. That's me in this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next in the next one. Peace.